This playthrough is rated E10+. This time it's the gorillas and the rebel scum that'll pay for what they've done. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von Arbeck here with another episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. In the last episode, we continue to help this government with their gorilla problem, and it looks like they're not they are not just like for the people type of guys. They're actually for their own selves, and they're willing to kill their own people you know, with nerve gas and stuff like that to uh, win. So we got to defeat these guys. So let's head on to the Dura facility and continue on. Now, you can't go into this facility unless you've gotten the ID1 card from a... Um, the other factory up ahead uh, so you can't even do this one unless you've gotten here by this point so it would just tell you you can't enter by the way so all right I think we're good so let me resupply of course yeah we're gonna need to buy some more uh, ammo here pretty soon so but anyway let's deploy another facility hmm kind of small guess it's worth a look though why waste our time? A couple of bombs and... No. What if they're storing nerve gas here? Can't afford to risk it. Well, I'm taking... Just as well, I'm teaming with you, huh? Me? I'd have blown this place sky high. I'll be back soon. All right. <clears throat> I'm packing up enemy... Uh, picking up enemy units. Commissing attack. Okay, so... Now that we have the dash option, yeah, all you have to do is press just forward a couple of times on your control pad. It'll make you go faster. So, yeah, that's all you pretty much have to do. And then you hold it down, and then obviously if there's a uh, um, something in the way, like a rock or something like that, you'll skip over it. Ah! I was trying not to get hit at all, then there you go, so. All right, anyway, let's take a look at this place, so. All right. Uh-oh. So yeah, we got gun placements here, we got commando monsters, I think that's it in terms of enemies, so. At least for this part, anyway. Later on, though. Oh, there's a chest down there. But first, we want to uh, go up here. Let's see what's in this bad boy. Repair kit number one. So, uh, that heals, I forgot to mention how much those heal. I just said it heals yourselves, but I never actually said. I think it's like 150. Let me uh, go to my notes again. Yeah, it's or sorry, it's 320. So the rep kits, depending on which version you get, will heal a certain amount. So rep one heals 320, rep two heals 640, rep three is 1280, rep four 2560, and rep five 5120. And then that eight, those eight kits I found that heal you, they heal 320 HP and 640. There's only two of them, so because you're not gonna get out of your mech that often in the first place, so. Why would you even do that? You know what I mean. So that's crazy talk. I, mean, I would just, I would just stay in my uh, mech all day long, really. But anyway, so let's, uh, let's keep going. So yeah, we'll keep going. All right, let's take a look at the map again. <clears throat> now let's uh, get some experience. Take these guys out. There's a, another couple of mechs over here. I was like, why am I shooting? Right. Reloading. Sometimes I forget that uh, the shotgun has a. Oh, no. I was trying to be cool there, but no. <clears throat> Just can't be that cool, huh? Come on. There we go. Luckily, the um, the gun emplacements, their explosions don't hurt me. It's just the. Uh, um, that's just the max. But anyway, there's another chest over here. I don't know why I keep saying treasure chests. They're not really treasure chests. Not really. But anyway, get upward Vulcan so we can sell that. <laughs> well, I, well, I might keep it. We'll see. But like I said, it's not. It's a very situational weapon. So really, not much. All right. Let's see. Okay. Now let's keep going right. Oop. I gotta remember to use my freaking uh, uh, shield when I get a chance. Let me set my arm pointing in the other way. So maybe I should use that option where you can use the the uh, right triggers to uh, uh, change change the directions, not just the control pads. So, oh well. Yeah. 
All right, anyway, here we get $100. All right, not so bad. Not much, but you can ignore it if you wanted to. Let's see, what else we got? Take that. And here we get a bullet I have. All right. Let's see, I think there was an HP one, which was the one that was back the other way that I missed, but that's fine. I haven't really taken much damage anyway, so that's... That's okay. All right, let's see. All right, so. Let's see, I think it's over, is it over this way? I think so. Sorry. Gotta go back the other way for the entrance to this place, so let me go back. There it is, I was like. Up, up, up we go, up, up we go, up, up we go. Alright. see, it is. There it is. <laughs> I was like, <coughs> for a second I was like, where's the hexagon to this place? I thought it was around here somewhere. I was like, it's unlocked. I'm heading inside. So if you didn't have the, uh, the, uh, ID1 key, you wouldn't be able to go inside here, so. Hey now, you try to shoot me right out of the gate. Guess I could have used a missile for that, but all right. Okay, so first of all, we want to go. Yeah, we want to go top left. There's a couple of treasure chests over this way. Well, there's something over here we could grab, but we can't get it yet. What the? They're shooting laser beams at me. They're shooting laser beams out of their freaking heads, man. Yeah, these are laser monsters. They're not that tough. I mean, they can go through your uh, shield. Um, if you put point at your shield, you just have to avoid them. Avoid the noise, as they say. That's what I tend to do. Because I don't like sloppy pizza. No, even though I don't eat pizza a lot anyway. So. He just likes to run towards me. Right, anyway, here we get $500. Albert's so, so happy when he gets 500 bucks, so. I mean, I would be too if I got 500 bucks in real life. Just randomly found it. Although I'd be pretty, uh, what's the word? I'd be pretty worried about uh, um, finding it and not being like, oh, okay, did some, did some mafia boss or something like that drop this? I'm not too sure about this. Yeah, more laser, laser bonzers. Here you can find gun emplacements, laser bonzers, two different versions. There's the gray ones and the olive ones. Uh, all of one has a bit more HP and does a bit more damage. Anyway, if we go over here, we get HP uh, full one, so probably could have waited on that, I guess, but yeah. There, right, how's our. Okay. Oop. The, uh, the jetpack failed me. Okay, I just need to jump at a certain, a certain time instead of trying to speed it. There we go. Okay. He tried to hit me. Ah. He won. What are you doing, dude? That guy's silly. There, there's the other, the other chest just that way. Here we get homie missiles. Oh, that's right. Yes. So we didn't have to buy them at that point if we didn't want to, but I can just sell them, so that's fine. Yeah, I actually forgot that you can actually find them here, but like I said I'd rather have had them earlier anyway, so. Okay. 
Alright, more money. Hot thousand dollars. Yeah, baby. Alright. But yeah, I can always sell the homing missiles. Like I said, if you really are hard up for cash, you can just redo old levels and uh and grind your money if it really comes down to it. So I'm just trying to minimize my grinding to really <laughs> you buggered. I should I should have been using the uh, homing missiles to hit him, but I was just holding on for a second. I was like, okay. There you are. Man, you are durable, baby. There you go. Yeah, that was the that was the all one I was talking about earlier. So, all right, let's get the what we came here for, which is an ID card. Well, no sign of a command center or production facility. Their main base, main base must be elsewhere. The net base ID, ID two, obtained. I'm done here. Pull it out now. So yeah, we're done with this section. So we need, we need to do these to complete the main objective. So. All right, nice. Got a decent amount of money there. We're definitely building it up now. Oh, look at all that experience. We're in the experience. We're in the experience. Yeah, more levels for you that don't matter. And another ID card. Still no sign of that factory, though. Oh. Well, let's move on. All right, so now we can go back to the shop. Yeah, there's a uh, um, a uh, back way to the shop now. So let's go ahead and uh, let me go and buy some more. Uh, let's see. I've already got. Yeah, I'm already good on a lot of that stuff, so I probably might buy more more uh, fuel. Just to kind of uh, fill it out a bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't need, really need to do that right now, so... Yeah, I guess we're good, so... <clears throat> Alright. Let's back up and head on to the... Next area. Alright, back this way. Alright, let's head on to Aaron Hill. All right, let's see. Nope, don't have to do anything specific. Oh, I was actually going to refill, but I didn't take that much damage, so that's fine. I keep pressing the wrong button. For enemy units, let's check it out. But this this fight isn't really... This section isn't that difficult, so... This one's pretty straightforward. You got laser bonzers here, uh, command bonzer, and, an, and a surprise when we get to it. So. Maybe I'll actually use Bren, uh, Brenda's... Uh, uh, Maybe I'll use Brenda's support here. I keep forgetting to do that just because, I mean, I have the support option. Why not, right? Uh-oh. More laser bonzers. Get back here. That's what I was talking about. I like the music here. Definitely, definitely action -y. Yeah, the soundtrack, I remember the soundtrack being pretty catchy for the most part. Uh, um, I think Nobu Matsu did the music for this, if I remember. Well, amongst others. Uh, Square used a lot of their um, in-game um, people for this. Like I said, Umatsu, uh, Masahiro, uh, I'll have to look it up again. But the guy who worked on like Chrono Trigger, I believe, worked on the soundtrack as well. Uh, well, I mean, Nobu Matsu did work on the soundtrack, but he worked with another guy, too, who put like his heart and soul into the soundtrack. And you can kind of tell if you... I, I need to play Crunch. Well, I play Crunch. I need to record it one of these days, but... Anyway, what the... Yeah, we got ourselves a mini-boss here. This is as far as you go, mercenary! Yeah, uh, just random soldier guy. So let's go ahead and use Bombardment on, on him, just because... Yeah, he'll block with the shield. He's basically just an upgrade version of the Commando. Um, you know, yeah, see. Damn! Damn! Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> uh, that was easy. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, he had an armor level of two, drops 40 experience, 360 cash. His weapon is a rapid fire cannon and a shield. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just killing any last second guys before I leave. Anyone else? Anyone else here? Oh, there's a re response. Why not? Anyone else? Okay, let's get out of here. Oops. There we go. Yeah, that was pretty pretty straightforward. So. Alright, nice 
Just a bit of my experience and money. And we gained a level, so now we're level seven. So now we can, when we have access to it, we can buy the decoy, the wireless gun pod one, the upward Vulcan two, and the stinger. So very nice. Well done, sir. <laughs> well, all right. I was expecting more, but uh, all right. Let's head on to the vent uh, vent base. So this this base we can't we couldn't have gone into unless we had the uh, uh, the card from the area we were just at. So all right, let's resupply and deploy. All right. Ooh, I like this area. Just the moon in the background. Something. So they're very ominous. Let's take a look at the map here. All right. Let's dodge on in. Or... All right. So this area has a one half uh, health uh, box and a and a bullet box here. So keep that in mind if you're low on health. So or low on bullets, like uh, or you know like um, uh, missiles or something like that. So we got flea units. So let's see. All right. So I think the chests for these are up top. Yeah. If you go, well, I'll show you. So. Why not? Wait, was there a flea unit around there? I thought I saw a flea unit. Wait, did, oh, is that a soldier? Oh, no, there's a flea unit. I was like, I thought I saw one. Did... There's the HP one. I guess I could have held off on grabbing it, but, yeah. Because le uh, levels do have, like, minimal um, uh, dudes in them, so... As, uh, yeah, this uh, dash makes going through these levels a little bit more more easier. All right, let's grab the other box here. Special weapon ammo, bullet obtained. Special wep special weapon. All right, wait a minute. Yep, there's another flea there. Oh, wait, I don't know why I went this way. This isn't where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, so uh, easier just to go to the bottom floor and just keep heading, heading right. Uh-oh, gun placement. And now it's a dead placement. Ah, right in the face, dude. Dude, you shot Mar you shot Marv in the face. Yeah, with the shotgun, those flea enemies. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot that could happen if you charge into something, it'll uh, blow up or whatever. Whoa! Yeah, I probably shouldn't have uh, stood in front of those explosions now, should I have? Alright, let's see. Oops. Ah. It's like I was a little off on my uh, gun placement, so. There we go. Let's hope this works. Card accepted. Here we go! I'm detecting movement inside. Looks like they engaged their defenses. Be careful. They seem pretty determined to keep me out of here. This has to be it. All right, oops. Let's go inside. All right, we got ourselves a, uh, well, you'll find out here in a second, so, oops. Uh, maybe I should have uh, saved that health thing. Well, I do have a couple of, uh, I do have a couple of reps if I really, if I really get down, if I really get bad, so. Whoop. Ah. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to encounter something here, and I don't want to be fighting every single little nitpicking thing, if you know what I mean, so. Alright, so, let's see. Alright, so anyway, this section here is, is the uh, arms factory. <clears throat> Sorry, just, sometimes if I stop for a second, it's me checking my notes, so. Whoa! Ah! But, this part, this place has a, um, a couple items, a uh, health item, and a couple of, uh, items to help us, our mech specifically. Oh yeah, I guess I should take a look at the map here, so. Alright. 
Oh, spider bots. Yeah, this, ha this place has spider bonzers, gun placement, spread fire bonzers, and soldiers. So. Oop, nope. All right, which one's this one? Shield unit. So we can sell that. All right. Let's just keep going forward. Whoop. Ah! Why do I always jump like right when they're like they're uh they're oh why do I keep doing that? Stop it! Man, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at the game. Well, definitely not the worst, but I'm definitely not not very good. Just because I keep letting myself get hit by stuff. Whoop! Then again, I've never been good at action games. Even though I like playing them, I've just never been very good. So. Whew. There's the health one. There is a bullet one around here. I guess I could have been using my uh, missiles. Just because, like I said, there's a bullet thing around here. So, All right, let's go. We'll go up after this. I'll just shoot you from the floor. Thank you very much. Oh, and of course I ran into the... Anyway, if we run here, we get the bullets, so refill on uh, the missiles, even though I've been hard on using them. Yeah, I haven't really been utilizing the bullets for purposes of just use a bunch of missiles, then go go get the uh, um, bullets, you know, so that way I don't have to pay for it. So. All right. Another, uh... <laughs> yeah, see, that's the problem with the, uh, the, the grenade. Um, version of, of uh, enemies or just weapons is that they could just keep lobbing it over our heads. I'm trying to remember some old NES games that kind of did something similar. Where you, they would, oh yeah, like Friday the 13th and stuff like that. So. Yeah, you had a, the rock, which is the, the basic weapon you can get. It's the worst weapon in the game, obviously, because it lobs. So you're just sitting there, uh, and all the enemies go, the lob is right above the enemy hit. Oh, whoa. Didn't expect to fall that far. Ah. It's so easy, yet I get, I get, I get smacked into it all the time, so. Of course, that's how it is. That's how it always is. Oop. Ow. And I did it again. All right, anyway. Yeah, we, here we get a VG-1 magazine booster, so we get an uh, 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 upgrade, so I guess I'll take it. All right. Whoops. All right. All right. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Ah. It's a spreader mag. Actually, I should be saving these missiles now that I think about it. There we go. I was hoping I, was hoping I get him to turn around. Because you get a lot of 80 experience for killing that guy. I mean, I took a decent amount of damage from it, but oh well. Alright, here's, here's the big one. Now we finally get to the big parts of the game, so, well, this part, section anyway, so. Alright. Looks like there's a soldier there. What the? He took more than one shot. The insanity of, oh, he's like a special, special soldier, huh? Or something. What the? You've been a world of trouble, Merc, but that ends here now. What the? So you're the guerrilla leader. You came to take out the factory control system, did you? I'm afraid I can't allow that. That gas is vital to our European operation. Once we've recovered from this little setback. European what? I thought you were fighting against the government. Those insects? Huh! Enough of this. Say your prayers, mercenary. All right, this is boss time. Like, actually, an actual physical boss, not like a main boss or a mini boss or whatever, but it's against the gorilla 
Grilla Commander. Uh, he's got armor level of 2, which just reduces how much damage we do to him. He drops 344 experience, 1,000 cash. He's got the BNC cannon and mine layer ability. So over the course of the map, he'll drop, drop circular mines and uh, shoot reflective blasts at me. Um, so I need to fly over him. Let's see. Yeah, I can't do bombardment here because of where we're at. So I need to get above him and uh, shoot at him. That's pretty much how you beat this guy. Ooh. Oh, there's a way to like basically do this with like taking no damage, basically. Uh, oh, I keep hitting the freaking mines. Oh yeah, I probably should be using the missiles. Wow. Yeah, see his uh, little HP bar. Uh, might as well use up all my missiles while I'm here. Whoa. Better, uh... Ah! I wasted that missile. Ugh. But overall, not a too too difficult boss. There we go. No! Yeah, he also shoots reflective beams and stuff like that, too, but I, uh... Now for the control system. Yeah, we're not quite done yet, so... Alright. Now how do we destroy this thing? Whoa! Oh, this kind of reminds me of the uh, Mother Brain boss from Metroid or whatever, you know. All right. Let's uh, go inside. So we can either... Uh, this almost exactly reminds me of... Actually, it almost reminds me of uh, Contra, too. Even though we're not fighting a big old alien thing at the end of the game. But, yeah, you can skip these things and just hit the, uh, um, the unit itself. But, yeah. There you go. Whoa. All right. That puts... That puts paid to the... Wait, what? That puts paid to the factory. Translation issue? But that's it. And that's it for this section of the Guerrilla Warfare. Apparently they were on a mission to do something in Europe. This was all just a, like a little sidestep for them. Huh. Well then. Good thing we put it into their plans. Yeah, I got a decent amount of experience. Awesome. Brenda gains another pointless level. At least you're trying, Brenda. We did it! You destroyed a great deal of their forces, at least. What's left of their armor won't be too much trouble. Yeah. Ah, the Major's calling us. Well done, Albert. If we can handle the vest from here, guess your contract is fulfilled. I have just one request for you. Oh? Well, as you see, we're suffering from a shortage of trained pilots. Should we be a target of another incursion in the future, our forces wouldn't stand a chance. Maybe you could take Clark along with you, give him a bit of a hand-on to combat experience. Wait a minute. Colonel I is not a training school. I may not be as good as Albert, but I do know my way around a bonzer. I can help. Please allow me to come to you. What do you think, Brenda? You won't be paid at all, you know. Being able to help my country is reward enough, sir. When you put it like that, I don't see how we could refuse. You're on! Thanks for everything. Can't say I approve of the baggage we're bringing back, but anyway, let's head home. Rachel to be expecting our report. Alright, so now, yeah, unfortunately we have to go all the way back to the exit of this place and leave the country. So that's it for that's it for uh, this section of the area. And uh, like they said, uh, he joins the team now. So now we got a new companion in Clark, in Clark Wilson. Uh, he is uh, well. I'll talk about that in the next episode. But what awaits us next time? Now that we've uh, finished this first mission, get a hefty reward. Get to sit uh, sit away, or are we on to another area. We'll find out next time as we head to Barukta in uh, in the next episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.